Hi there, the following video will show us how to change the subject of a formula in maths. So, firstly, what is the subject of a formula? Well, here's a well-known formula. The circumference of a circle is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter of that circle. C, the circumference, is isolated. It's on its own with no multiplying, dividing, adding or subtracting going on with that C. It's on its own and it's not on the other side, it's totally on the left hand side and C is therefore the subject of this formula. Okay, next let's say the area of a circle is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. Again, A is on its own, is isolated on one side of the equals and therefore A is the subject of this formula. Lastly, let's say for example that the volume is equal to pi r squared times the height and um, this is the volume of a cylinder. Now the volume here is on the right hand side of the equals it doesn't matter what side it's on but as I said it's isolated on its own so in this case v is the subject of this formula. Okay now let's work out how to change the subject of a formula. Let's look at this example here. Currently a is on its own on the left hand side and is the subject of the formula but we want to make b the subject of the formula. Currently we have 3 times b subtract c is equal to a. I want to get b all by itself on its own. So imagine I added c to both sides to undo this negative c. On the left hand side I would get a plus c and on the right hand side I would simply be left with 3b. Now I've got 3b, I don't want 3b's, I want 1b so I divide both sides by 3 and I would get a plus c all divided by 3 is equal to b and I've made b the subject of this formula. Okay example 2 I want to make d the subject of the formula currently I've got 3 d's plus 4 equals f f is the subject currently I want to make d the subject. Okay I want to get rid of or undo this add 4 so imagine I subtracted 4 from both sides I would be left with on the left hand side 3d and on the right hand side I would be I would still have my f but I would have a subtract 4. I've got 3d's I don't want 3d's I want 1d so again I can divide both sides by 3. That would leave me with d on the left hand side is equal to f subtract 4 all divided by 3. I've made d the subject of the formula here. Two more examples here, p squared subtract 3 equals 2q. I want to make p on its own the subject of this formula. Well, let's start off by making p squared the subject. Let's undo this subtract, subtract 3 by adding 3 to both sides. If I did that, I would have p squared equals 2q plus 3. Now, I don't want p squared the subject. I want p the subject. So, to get p from p squared, I could square root both sides. This would leave me with p is equal to the square root of 2q plus 3. But you've got to take care when taking square roots of both sides. In fact, you always end up with a positive square root and a negative square root. Remember, for example, if x squared is equal to 9, some number squared is equal to 9, that number could either be plus 3 or it could be minus 3. Similarly, we need a plus square root 2q plus 3 or a minus square root 2q plus 3. Last example, h plus 7 over 2 equals e. I want to make h the subject. Currently, h plus 7 is dividing by 2. I could undo this by multiplying both sides by 2. On the left hand side, I would simply get an h plus 7 and on the right hand side, I would get 2e. To undo the add 7, I could subtract 7 from both sides and I'll get h is equal to 2e subtract 7 and h is the subject of the formula. The last slide, I would like you to do these four questions for homework here. I would like you to write these in your homework books and each line of the working, like I previously showed on this slide, needs to be written in as well. I would like full solutions to these four questions for me please. Thank you very much.